Welcome to another video. This video is going to be about you substitution. It is not, I'm not trying to teach you how to do you substitution. I'm just trying to show you by investigation that it is better to take a lot more when you do you substitution. Yeah, it's always better to take the most you can. But I noticed that students, especially new students to integration, tend to take the minimum they can understand. But you want to practice taking the most you can so that your work will be faster and things become clearer quickly. Now, this is the trick. Whenever you do use substitution and you find yourself doing another use substitution while solving a problem, you probably did not take enough the first time. So repeated use substitution just shows you probably could have done just one use substitution in the first place. The more, the better. Let's get into the video. I have a trig function multiplying a natural log function whose argument is another trig function. So at this point, you may not, if you're new to use substitution, you may not know what exactly you want to do. And by the way, cotangent x does not look easy. So what we're told is you want to rewrite all trig functions in terms of sine and cosine. That's actually a good idea. Okay, again, that happens when you're just starting. Okay, so I'm going to do it the first way. So we have i is equal to the integral of we're going to rewrite cotangent x as cosine over sine. So we're going to write this as cosine x over sine x multiplied by the natural log of 3 sine x. Now, because you're just starting, you might be thinking, okay, I know that I should take sine x because if I take sine x to be my u, then the derivative of sine x is cosine x, and I can get rid of this cosine x, and then I can have u somehow. So we're going to say u substitution. We say let u be equal to sine x, so that du will be equal to cosine x dx. So cosine x dx is already in this. So if we combine this and this, we get cosine x dx. That is going to become our du. So this integral can now be written as the integral of, see cosine x dx is gone. What we have here is now just 1 over sine x. But now we set sine x is just u, right? 1 over u multiplied by the natural log of 3u ln of 3u. You see that. Now, but what did we say cosine x dx is? It's going to be du. So we replace this with du. What I just did here looks as if things are not as clear as they should be. Because now, I can't do any integration. I still need to do something else. So what would you do? You're going to say... You do another u substitution. Or I might finish it here. This is equal to the integral of ln of 3u multiplied by 1 over u du. So let's do another u substitution. I'm going to say, not u now, we're going to say t. We're going to say let t be equal to ln of 3u so that dt will be equal to, if you differentiate natural log of anything, it is the derivative of what's inside divided by what's inside. So this is going to be the derivative of 3u is 3 divided by 3u du. So you see that this 3 is going to cancel this 3, and what you have is just 1 over u du, which is what we have here. So it means this integral here, let's go back here, this integral i will now be equal to, let's go here, 
it's going to be the natural log of, oh, that's t. It's just t multiplied by 1 over u du, which here is just dt. Oh, so this is just the integration. Our answer is basically the integral of t dt, which is half t squared plus c. Okay, now you just have to go back and replace. So now let's look at making our u substitution the biggest we can. So we're going to take all of this to be our u substitution. In fact, I am not going to rewrite this. Okay, I'm just going to leave it, see what comes out of it. You'll be pleasantly surprised that all integration problems are actually designed, if, they, if you can evaluate or if you can compute the integral, they're designed to, and it's for u substitution, once you take the appropriate u substitution, something nice shows up. So look at this. So we're going to say u sub, we're going to say let u be equal to ln of 3 sine x. Okay. If we take du, remember the derivative of a natural log function is the derivative of the argument of that function. What is the derivative of this? It's 3 cosine x divided by the argument itself, 3 sine x. What do we get here? This is the same thing. This 3 cancels this 3. This is cosine x over sine x. What is that? That's cotangent x. So you see that this integral here could have been written as the integral of ln of 3 sine x times cotangent x dx, which is what we have here. So if we do, based on this u substitution we've done, this is our du. So the integral i is equal to the natural log which is our u multiplied by cotangent x dx is just du. So when we integrate this, what do we get? We get half u squared plus c, which when translated, let's write it here, will be equal to 1 half only one u substitution and very keen eyes on what happens when you take the derivative it shows us the part that we don't have or that we already have but we could not see that this was a precursor of cotangent x when you take the derivative so whenever you're trying to do u substitution don't be afraid no matter how crazy the function is try to take as much as possible especially if it contains natural log, you want to take that natural log function as your u. Everything, no matter how crazy, take it. And never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.